Hello, beautiful creatures. Welcome to the Oracle of Lilith. My name is Amy, and I'm so glad to see you. I hope you're doing well. If this is your first time to my channel, hi, hello, how are you? It's so good to see you. If you're a returning subscriber, hey guys, I have missed you so much, and I'm so happy to be back doing a daily oracle. So, uh, some of you guys may know that I'm, I'm starting to have work done on my teeth, so the daily oracles have not been going up on the daily anymore. But uh, I feel guided to do a few before I get my next extraction. So I'm going to try to get back in the swing of doing this every day for you guys. I've missed it. I miss you guys so much. So I appreciate all your thoughts and well wishes on my journey with my teeth. And I just want to say a big thank you to all of you who have donated to my channel. I really appreciate it. And uh, I've missed you so much. So, okay, I want to get one card from the Beyond Lemuria deck. Uh, I'm starting to work with this deck a little bit more. There is so many good messages and so much good energy in this deck. It, it just needs to be used more. So I'm going to get one card. I'm going to read a little bit from the book. All right, there's my card. <laughs> Okay, so we have High Heart Chakra, Ecstatic Bliss. Wow, what a way to start a day or the energy of the day to be a High Heart Chakra, Ecstatic Bliss. This is number six in the book, and I'm going to read just a little bit about it. Try to hold it up, keep it in frame. Okay, uh, this card taps into the blissful oneness we all feel as we drop away our edges and protective containers. This is a place where we feel held and seen enough to flow into oneness where the eternal part of me meets the eternal part of you. This is the selfless state where our higher selves commune for illuminated perspective on how we share, gift, and lift others in our joyful overflow. Consider your life purpose by exploring what allows you to give in joy. Consider your life purpose by exploring what allows you to give in joy. The ways you can bring joy to yourself and others. Um, and the color wash is, is iridescent pink. So um, this is a really beautiful card. It's just, it's a lovely card about really walking into your fullness, uh, giving joy and happiness to others. We have two doves here uh, connected by a heart. So uh, for some of you, you may be moving into a cycle of a new romance or a deeper connection with your person or a different level of connection. Um, I'm saying deeper, but it feels elevated. It feels like an elevated connection as if if you're in a relationship, it's as if you guys level up into a higher state of being with each other. It's more loving. It's more compassionate. It's uh, more heart to heart. So it's really beautiful. That That's a really beautiful energy. This also could be an energy rising up within you as well. So the overall energy I'm feeling of today is one of love, of giving joy and happiness to others. And in that way, when we give joy and happiness to others and we heal them, we heal ourselves. Okay, so it's a beautiful act of healing self and others. Give a little happiness, right? It doesn't hurt to be kind to others. It doesn't hurt to extend, uh, be polite and, um, you know, always... Always look at your situations that you come across with compassion. Um, I think for a lot of us who especially have had a hard life, it's hard for us to always give people the benefit of the doubt. And this is living in a state of being able to do that on a consistent basis. Always looking for the good in another. After feeling a lot of the bad, I feel like a lot of us have been going through, a, I'm feeling this card, um, I think a lot of us have been going through a really tough cycle, coming to terms with some things about ourselves, maybe coming to terms with some things about others, and um, it's really, it's, it feels like it's been really difficult, okay? The last six months for a lot of people have been full of chaos and um, just like a whirlwind of change. So. Here we go. Aha, love, love, love this wolf man. Ah, this is the night of candles. 
Woo! He comes in fast, okay? So um, for many of you, if you're looking for love or opportunity, there's victory here. We have the Queen of Needles. I'm feeling like um, compassion, but I'm also picking up on something else here. And we have the lovers. I feel like this is an energy of, <laughs> I feel an energy of gossip to be honest, about these lovers here. And I feel like there's a call to take the high road. So I feel like if you have people around you who have been talking about you or spreading rumors or um, maybe taking credit for your work, things like that, there's a there's a higher purpose to this experience and it's to elevate your frequency and understand that people who act this way, they act this way because they're in a state of pain or a state of lack. Okay, they're not coming from the same point of view that maybe you are. Uh, I feel jealousy here with the Queen of Needles as she looks at the Knight of Candles. Uh, I feel like... Um, the lover's card is often knowing uh, someone truly being on a, a gut, not gut wrenching, a gut, gut level with someone else and knowing them, but it's about knowing yourself. And I feel like through everything you've been through in the last, I don't know, six months is what I'm hearing, you've really learned who you are. And this kind of energy doesn't have power over you anymore. This, this could be a family member. It could be a friend you trust that um, unexpectedly has formed some kind of uh, opinion about you that may not be accurate uh, based on your actions during a really chaotic time and you know better you have been through a lot and I feel like a lot of you ha are in ascension energy like this high heart chakra feels like ascension energy and I feel the advice here is to be kind and compassionate you know what they say um kill him with kindness kind of thing and that's what I'm feeling I'm feeling like the night of candles could also be your energy here you being in an element of victory uh, inspiration you moving forward in a more confident balanced state and knowing yourself knowing what you can do I feel like what you've been through has helped you really grow into this amazing human being you were always amazing but now you're like leveled up amazing I feel like some of you are literally growing through a glow up where uh, more of your talents are going to be seen and um, people are going to look at you and know that you it's almost like I'm hearing like you've arrived you've walked into your power and now um, things like this this queen of needles energy are, are just annoying at this point and I feel like spirit is saying God Guides, God forms, all this energy coming forward. Ancestors are saying, you know, go into this energy. This is ascended energy. This energy doesn't worry about haters. They're too busy being happy. They're too busy living their truth, living their purpose, and not worried about what Betty Sue down the street is saying about your cookies. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't matter. It's not that big a deal. Obviously, Betty Sue has a problem with cookies in the first place, right? So that's kind of what I'm feeling here. It's, it's a cool kind of energy. Um, it's really different. It's, it's awareness. It is radical self-awareness. Um, and it's something you have worked for. It, it, this wasn't easily gotten, okay? So you've been through a lot. Let me get a few more cards here. Any advice? Any more advice? Don't worry about the gossip. Don't worry about the haters. And I don't think you really do, but just be aware that you have them. <laughs> you know, if you're if you're doing it right, you'll probably have you probably have some hater energy. People always hate on what they want to be when they see other people doing it. I got three cards, so I'm going to take them. Clear out the clutter. That's great. Oh, wait, this is always great advice. This could be clear out the clutter of people. Maybe there are people around you who don't serve your highest good anymore, and it's just really time to let them go. It could be things. You could have collected a lot of things, or you may just need to do like a spring cleaning kind of thing in your house. A lot of times this helps us just renew the energy. We get out all the stagnant energy and we renew our energy by uh, making room for new in our life by removing the old. 
then we have turn knowledge into wisdom. So whatever you've gone through in the last six months, it's time for you to reflect and find the wisdom in what you've been through. Wisdom means you've gone through the process, you felt the pain of it, you felt the hurt of it, you've worked through it, you've purged it to a degree, and now you can look back from another perspective and see the value in that situation see the value in that experience it's not easy to do but it's something that this frequency will allow you to to do this high heart chakra energy will allow you to do I, th I feel like there's just a lot of happiness coming forward and we have be generous of spirit the lion spirit so be generous again with especially with this energy here if you have this energy presenting at your work or in your personal life or whatever just understand they're coming from a five of a uh, pinnacle situation they're coming from lack they're coming from not feeling good they're coming from uh, being threatened by you in some way because they see you being happy this is happiness here this is walking into happiness, happiness as a state of being, happiness as knowing that you control what comes into your life, you control what, um, you know, even if we don't control everything that comes into our life, we control our reaction to it, right? And that's this ability right here to choose happiness on a daily basis, to choose to do the things that feed and nourish us and not worrying about Betty Sue down the street gossiping about what she thinks we're doing, okay? It's none of her business what we're doing and we're just going to move on and leave Betty Sue back in her kitchen burning her own cookies. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, it's a beautiful energy. I'm going to get... I think one more card here. Oh, of course I dropped some cards, but I'm not going to get them because we don't need them. All right, one card. I'm feeling this one right here. Priestess, how are you being called to step up and lead? So this is what spirit, this is what your ancestors want you to focus on. What's your next step? Where do you want to go? Who do you want to be? What is your goals? What are your dreams? What are your desires? They want you to focus on that and not on the petty uh, stuff that Betty Sue is doing down the street. You have a bigger call on your life. Betty Sue's just trying to figure out her lack right now. And you need to figure out what's going to make you happy. What's going to continue to help you flow into this ecstatic bliss. So... All right, guys, that's what I got for today. I hope this resonated. If it did or it didn't, please leave me a comment in the comment section down below. I'd love to hear from you guys. I hope you have a beautiful day, and I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.